New at 11, a local man goes to jail for refusing to give police the passcode on his iPhone. He spent 44 nights behind bars because of it. And ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales digging deeper now with what rights you have when it comes to what some consider their lifeline. The story begins when police arrested William Montanez, pulled over in Tampa when he failed to use his blinker last June. Then, officers smelled pot. He said, yes, I smoke marijuana. There's marijuana in the vehicle. Montanez's attorney says on scene, a text message popped up on one of his two phones. Mm. OMG, did they find it? It made police very interested in what else was on his phone. Mm. Went to a judge and they got a search warrant. And they showed up at my client's house days later and said, we demand that you give up the passcodes to these phones. He refused. Then a judge threw him in jail for 44 days. William Montanez became the poster boy for privacy. I think the judge was was completely wrong. So just what are your rights to your own passcode? It was a complete fishing expedition. This attorney's take, what police and a judge did was completely out of line. There's no probable cause to suggest that just because you have a misdemeanor amount of marijuana on your possession, that there's evidence of a crime in a cell phone. After 44 days in jail, an appeals court order Montanez released. Montanez's lawyer says making him tell police his passcode would be him giving up evidence on himself, admitting the phone was his. And then if there's information on that cell phone that would incriminate me, then I've just been ordered by the court to violate my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent, not to offer information that would incriminate me. This is civil rights attorney David Lane. This is the death of privacy in the digital age. This is forced self-incrimination. He says you can tell police to go get a warrant if officers ask to search your phone or give up a passcode. Today, private companies are able to hack nearly every cell phone using their own technology. Police can make you give up your finger or open your phone with your face, just like they legally can take your mugshot and fingerprints. The difference here, though, is you're not forced to say anything. I think it's more valuable than being able to search someone's house or computer. Former cop turned college professor Stacy Hervey says the reason why Montanez ended up in jail for not giving up his passcode, the courts haven't definitely ruled. I think it's an issue where legal precedent really isn't keeping up with what police officers are trying to do in technology. The final ruling, experts say, will likely come down to a Supreme Court decision. I reached out to the state attorney's office for comment about this case. The office says prosecutors followed the law and declined further comment. Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.